Hi everyone, I'm Sally Eves. It's a pleasure to be here again with Tim, Tim Crawford. It's lovely to speak to you, Tim. It's always a pleasure spending time together. Hey, Sally. Great to see you again and always great to have a conversation with you and exchange thoughts. Absolutely, absolutely. Smile set all, I think, Tim. Brilliant. And kind of catalyzing this particular discussion today is all things SAP Tech Ed. Amazing few days, and I think some really kind of game changing announcements, in particular around Build. So perhaps we could start our conversation drilling in to people who might not have seen it just yet. What is Build all about? What's your key takeaway from it so far? Yeah, thanks, Sally. I mean, it was an interesting few days in Las Vegas, and Talking about TechEd and looking at the build announcement specifically um, really kind of opened a number of doors. And I think enterprises, large and small, will really kind of stand up and take note from this. Um, specifically, you know, if we back up a little bit, you know, build is actually a part of the BTP um, suite of different solutions. And so if you look at what build is doing, it's essentially bringing a low code, no code approach to what SAP was already offering from what they're calling a pro code um, approach to development of applications. And so that rapid development um, is gonna be really interesting to a lot of these uh, enterprises. And for many of the SAP customers that may not have made the move to SAP cloud or cloud-based solutions, you know, there might be a question around, well, that's great, but I'm still running SAP on-prem. And the good news is that Build actually bridges the gap between on-prem uh, instances of SAP as well as cloud. And so I think that will be something that customers will kind of stand up and take note as they start to think about mobile development, they start to think about how they can bring the integration opportunities to bear and uh, really provide insights from those different uh, data sets and applications. Absolutely. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more strongly. That integration piece, I think, is huge. You know, all organizations from, from SME to enterprise, it's one of the most biggest priorities at the moment. Absolutely. So the fact that's done that and also built on heritage, too. So it's built on the experience of users using things like Build Me, also MacGyver. So all that heritage is there and it's really making the best of that and then bringing everything all together. Um, so the seamlessness, the interoperability, I think, is key for this, too. And perhaps, again, for the audience, we can break down a little bit more about what Build and actually consist of too. So for me, I like to talk in pillars, Tim, as you know. So there are kind of three key features for, for me within this. Um, one, obviously, is the apps area. Um, the build apps function, I think, is huge. You mentioned it yourself about visual prototyping. That's so key. It makes such a difference. You know, I, I did something with some young coders only very recently, and we used a similar functionality there. And even at that age, you could see the difference of getting into coding and what that would mean. Apply that with the sophistication you have with build. It's going to really open up opportunities for business users to get really close to that data and be really part of that solution generation. So really excited to see that too. Also, the process automation feature, kind of pillar number two, I think really, really strong there. I particularly like the fact you've got embedded AI and also embedded business rules and decisions. There's so much to work with here that's going to really improve that workflow management. And finally, it's the build work zone. And again, things like website development, allowing the ability to do that much more seamlessly for business websites. Again, it's a huge, huge gain. And I'm really excited to see how all these three elements have been put together. I think it's really tackling head on a lot of the challenges we're seeing for organizations today, but equally the opportunities too. And as you said, the rise of low code and no code is here to stay. I think it can make a huge difference with some of the supply talent demand challenges we have, and also just you know, really getting to the right solutions for problems by bringing IT and business closer together. So super excited about that. Um, and also one other thing actually within build to security and compliance. Again, huge challenges for businesses, particularly with you know differences over geographical areas, et cetera, too. So the, the build um, opportunity here to kind of embed that consideration by design to make it easier, you know, and also the DevOps framework that's included within build too, and the fact it fits in very well to the right type of change management, you know, CI, CD, continuous integration, continuous deployment, bringing all these elements together. I think we're really helping organizations of any size to kind of future proof to whatever change vector comes next because you know we're all used to lots of change at the moment aren't we absolutely that we are you know you mentioned about the um, development aspects and yes. one of the things that they had uh, mentioned uh, that I'm sure you saw as well is kind of the parallels between what they're doing with build yes. and a very early development um, environment which is scratch 
Yes. And so for young audiences that are starting to learn about developing, Scratch is, an often, is often used as a tool to do that. And so they were making some parallels of how easy it is to, to use Build as part of that. But the other piece that I'll maybe um, kind of build on, no pun intended, um, to your comments, Sally, is that, you know, if you look at what enterprises are trying to do today, they have to bring together, integrate uh, a number of different sources. And some of those sources may be within SAP and some of them may be outside of SAP. And so I think one of the things that I really took away from the build discussions is that within a single environment, you can bring in SAP insights, but you can also bring in external insights into the same application. And so that's going to really help out for those organizations that are kind of sitting there wondering, well, this is great for my SAP environment, but I've got these other insights that uh, are related that I need to bring in too. And Build really provides the foundation to be able to do that. Absolutely, absolutely. I think I spot on. It's giving that that choice, that empowerment, and that seamlessness of integration across SAP data and non-SAP data too. Absolutely. So it's empowering right. that right decision making. Couldn't agree more. So yeah, yeah. exciting times. That it is. That it is. And I'm sure we'll have more to talk about as we go through time too. Absolutely. I think we should come back for a second episode and talk more about, for example, community developers, citizen developers, and, and how Build is supporting that. Sounds good. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. I will see you soon, Tim. Thank you. All right.